Okay, so let's get started with our vase. And before I put together the actual structure, um, what I did, and I'm not gonna bore you with it because it's pretty simple, is I did a lot of inking around the panels and especially the uh, leaves, okay? So um, with the leaves, I've been using pom-poms. Got a bag of about 100 of them for, I think it was like $3 or so. I've got this, um, this color box ink here. I'm gonna dab a little bit of ink on it and just kinda run it on against the white paper here to see what kind of effect I get and just kind of working it along the edge here and gradually working it in, kind of starting off with just a little bit so I don't overdo it to begin with and then maybe go a little deeper and not push as hard. Okay, so I kind of like how that's looking. And I'll get the other side here, but just not as, not as far in. Okay, and then just kind of creating a little gradient effect where as I'm progressing towards the inside of the leaf, I'm applying even less pressure to give me that sort of look. So you can see that there's more here, and as you go in, there's less, and then I just hit it with a little bit on the side. So I'll show you that one more time here. Grab my ink, just get a little bit of the excess off, and just begin working it along the edge. And just applying a little less pressure as I move in towards the center. And then just flip it around. And I'm gonna hit just the little edge there. I don't want too much on that side. But you can ink however you want. This is, um, as I kind of explained in one of my previous videos, um, I kind of approach my inking from a, a photography standpoint where usually you have um, light hitting things from one side, which is why one side's a little bit lighter than the other. Um, so that's kind of how I like to ink, but you can ink however you'd like. And then um, we have these panels here, which we did in this pattern paper. And all of the, um, all of these here, I'm going to ink by just hitting it uh, on the edge with a tone that's slightly darker than what we have there, just to kind of give it a little bit of interest. And you can see the little technique that I'm using here, just kind of going up against the edge, a little bit of it is hitting the top part of the paper, and that's what kind of gives it that gradient effect. Okay, so I'm just going through and doing my inking. And as subtle as it is, it does make a difference, okay? And, um, Again, that's optional, you don't have to do it, but I'm gonna do it. So if you are, just make sure that you ink all of your panels, and then we can go ahead and begin with the actual assembly of our structure, which is also a pretty simple process. So get all of your stuff inked, and then we'll go ahead and put together our bays. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put together the vase. We've got five identical pieces here. And what I want to do is just get these bottom two pieces folded along with the side tab and maybe just these two little triangular tabs there just to get them out of the way. I've already made two of these, so I've kind of figured out the best way to go about it. And I just want to get those pieces ready to go. And what we're gonna do is before we actually begin putting the structure together, we're going to connect all of these pieces together to form one piece and then kind of create the structure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on this tab here. And I'm gonna get that glue out to the edge. 
Okay, and then what I've been doing is I've been just kind of putting it on my surface here and connecting it up against those little tabs there, just making sure that these, this little corner here meets up and get it placed and let it get a partial grip and then you can take it and fold it over on itself just to make sure that you've got it aligned properly and you know that you do when this tab here and this section here, this edge, is nice and flush and perfect. Okay, and it's just gonna give us a really nice looking end result. Okay, so give that a chance to set before you move on to the next one. And we are just gonna repeat that process. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and Essentially, you just repeat that same process. That's all we're really doing. We're just connecting all of these pieces together to form one solid piece. And then we're gonna go up the little, up the ladder here and get the rest of this in place. So again, let that partially set. Then you can fold it over onto itself and just kind of run your finger along there. If you need to nudge it, you can, but I pretty much got it exactly where it needed to be by just lining it up and just continue down the row here, just like that. Grab your next piece. These are all identical pieces, so it doesn't matter which one you use where. Just as long as you get that lined up nicely with that score mark, let it set initially. You can kind of fold it over and you know, just run your fingers along there. Make sure that it's nice and lined up. And we'll get that last one in place. And then we can go ahead and begin working our way vertically to create the actual structure, which is also a very simple process. Um, and you know what, with this, the more time you take, the better that end result's gonna be. Um, if you try to glue too many tabs at the same time, they may not hold as nicely as you want them to, and then the end result's not gonna look as good. So I would highly recommend taking your time, and you'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay. All right, so give this just a few more seconds to dry, okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and begin working our way vertically. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin putting this together. And the way that I did this was, and at this point you wanna go ahead and make sure that you fold all these tabs over, okay. I actually began by aligning this large tab first and then using my glue from the inside to get the little tiny triangular tabs in place afterwards. Because this one has a lot more surface area and it's a little bit more important to get this top part lined up perfectly first. Okay, so just kinda get that lined up. Focus your attention at the top there. Just make sure that they're nice and lined up. Squeeze that into place. And then run your fingers along the inside on that tab and push down to get that nicely in place. So just focus all of your attention on that large tab first. If you have a little bit of glue that comes out, just brush it off, okay? And then once that's set, and for this piece, actually, with none of these, uh, you're, you're gonna have to kind of um, hand hold this one all the way through. You can't really put it down on your table and use that as leverage because of the curvature of this piece. Okay, then we have these four tabs inside here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do one tab at a time. If you are feeling risky and crazy, you can do more than one. So I put that glue on that tab there, and then I'm doing my best to get that nice and aligned. I'm holding it between my middle finger and my thumb, just applying pressure to get that to stick. And you can see that's the tab that I just glued down. So it doesn't take long. 
give it just a few seconds to get a nice grip and then add glue to your next tab. Take a look from the outside and just push and hold that in place. If you get a little spillage, just clean it up. Okay, give it a few seconds to hold. There we go. And there we go. And just work your way down. Just try to follow that nice angle that we have there so everything is nice and flush. Okay. And go back and finish it off with that last tab. And you can see it there. Just gonna pop a little bit of glue on there. It might have been a little too much. And get that nice and aligned. Just push between your thumb and your middle finger to apply that pressure to get those little nooks and crannies of the paper to really hold. And that is what your edge should look like. Nice and seamless and perfect. Okay. And then you probably guessed it. I'm just going to repeat the same process with the next piece. Okay. So I'll walk you through one more. And then I think, uh, I think you could pretty much figure out what to do with the other ones because it's identical. It's the same exact process all the way through. Okay, just make sure you don't have too much glue spilling over there. Okay, make sure that these triangular tabs are in and focus your attention to the top to make sure that that is nice and aligned up there and then work your fingers along that large tab, ensuring that it has a nice grip all the way through. Okay, give that a few seconds to dry. And again, you're gonna have to hold this in the air. You can't really put it down to use your table as leverage because you're gonna risk um, kind of bending it and warping it and then more than likely the tabs are gonna come loose, okay? But we can still work from the inside. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and put glue on one tab at a time here. Flip it over, make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. Apply pressure between your thumb and your middle finger here. You can see how I'm holding that from the inside and from the outside. Okay, flip it back over, get your next tab ready. Can see this tab here. Just get a little glue on there. And maybe just a little more. Flip it back and squeeze. And get that nice and aligned. Okay, so we've got one more there. And again, we're gonna just repeat this process a few more times. And then when we get to the end and we have to join and, and close this piece up, um, I'll show you a few little things that I learned when I was putting this together to make it nice and seamless. Cause that is a little bit more difficult, but not really. It's not really that bad. Okay, so we've got two sides put together here. And again, all you're gonna do is continue that same process until you've got all of these put together. Then we'll meet up and go ahead and close that off. But again, just put glue on this major tab here first, get that aligned with the top, and then glue these tabs down. And we'll go ahead and get this thing constructed. Okay, so kind of left off where I told you to do the major tab. Now, one thing that you can do is fold this over to, just to get it out of the way so that you can more easily get your glue bottle in there to work those smaller tabs, okay? And just continue doing the same exact thing that, that we did, okay? So definitely take advantage of the fact that that is still hinged and that you can move it out of the way just to make your life easier. It's actually nicely balanced right now to where it's pretty easy to pretty easy to hold and work with. Okay. And I may as well just kind of hang out with you here and show you the rest of the process. Okay, so you can see that I'm just putting glue 
on this tab here. I'm going to do these last two at the same time. I think I can swing it. I think I could probably use two fingers in there. And the closer you get to the end, the more that it's going to assume its shape almost. Okay, but just try to get a nice line there. Try to line things up as perfectly as you can. Okay, we're gonna put some panels on this as well. So that's gonna to add to the whole look. Okay, and sometimes um, between sections here, definitely give this section a little extra time to dry so that if you do inadvertently pull on it weird or, or do something weird, you don't end up, um, you know, ungluing it in that last section that you just glued. So again, we're just gonna continue doing what we did. Okay, and a lot of you that have been following Dreaming Tree for a while, you've seen that. I tend to use my finger to get that glue out to out to the edge because it just gives a nice cleaner seam. Sometimes if you just put glue on there randomly in the middle, it holds, but then you've got these little gaps and it's just, it doesn't look as good. So I use my finger. If you guys have some suggestions on what else I can use, I'm all ears, but I don't mind getting a little, getting a little glue on me. I can always just go wash it off with some soap. Okay, so again, I'm working that major tab, making sure that the top is aligned, making sure that I've got everything nice and glued down. And at this point, you can still really get your hand in there nicely. So you can push that down, make sure that's got a really good grip, okay? And this thing is, you know, at this point, all of these sections here um, have a really good grip on the glue. So don't feel like you can't pull it open a little bit just to get access to these tabs here because we do have these four tabs here. Let's see if I can show them to you a little bit better. Well, you know, it's these tabs, but on this piece, okay, and I'm slowly, there you go, you can see in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do one at a time here. So basically up until we get to that last section, um, it does get, it's, it's pretty easy because you can really get your hand in there. When we go to close it up, it's not difficult. It's just, it's a little bit of a different technique and you're, you're kind of using this invisible leverage that the paper is offering you. And I'll, I'll show you how to harness that here in a second. So we've got three tabs left here. I am going to uh, put a little bit too much glue on there. That's gonna spill out, I can already tell. Yeah, there we go. Just, just kinda rub that off before it gets a chance to really set and you know, it does dry clear, but it leaves a little bit of a sheen, and I don't like that either. I like my projects nice and perfect, okay? And again, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off by putting glue on these last two tabs at the same time, just because I'm feeling confident that I can do it. Okay, and again, that was way too much glue. Getting a little sloppy with it now. And that last piece there. There we go. All right, now definitely before we go ahead and close this piece up, I wanna give this section ample time to dry. Okay, so for now, what we can do is just get all of our tabs folded over. And we're gonna start by gluing the bottom section of this together first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that glue out there to the edge, okay. And get this nice and perfectly aligned. Kinda of using my thumb inside to help me position this correctly. And once I have it, then I will apply the pressure in between my two fingers to really get it to hold exactly where I want it to. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. So that is nice and in place. Okay, and this is where 
especially here, we want to make sure that this tab gets a good hold. Okay, so let's let that sit for just a few seconds here and make sure that that's not going to come apart because we are going to be kind of pulling at this a little bit and you want that to get a good hold before we move on to this piece. Okay, so I think, I think this thing has enough hold. So I'm going to grab my bottle and I am going to put a little bit of glue on that inner tab there. Okay, I want to get that little tab in place first. Okay, and that is too much glue. That's okay. Okay, so just push that and hold that in place between your fingers. Make sure that you're, you know, you're um, following that natural curvature there. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and just kind of peel this back a little bit. And at this point, I am going to go ahead and put glue on the remaining three tabs. Okay, just get some glue in there. And go ahead and push that down here. And then push from this side here, push it in. That's how you're going to get that leverage without having to have your hand inside and just wipe off any excess and really get that to grip and be patient while it does so. Okay. So I'm kind of bending it like that, I'm kind of pushing in on this one and pushing in on this one here to get those tabs to really meet, to get this piece to really meet those tabs. And just be patient and they will hold nicely for you, okay? And then once, once we have those in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put glue on this tab here. So you are gonna have to get your glue in there Okay, just like that. And you know, like I said, um, most important thing is really just to get it out to the edge. Okay, so focus your efforts on the edge of that. Okay, and then you can go ahead. If you need to, if you find it easier, you can grab like a dowel or a ruler to push, because your finger's not long enough. So you can just kind of push the dowel inside there and then push up against that dowel to get it to stick, okay? But as you can see, we've got a nice, perfect seam, despite the fact that we can't get our fingers in there, okay? So there you go. There's our vase. And we can go ahead and put the bottom on and grab the bottom. And there's our bottom piece. And what I like to do is I will put glue on just one of the tabs first to anchor it. And that is gonna set the tone for the rest of these pieces here. So just do your best to get that perfectly aligned. Okay, make sure that it's nice and aligned and centered. You don't want it going over the score lines. You want it just slightly below that score mark there. And then you can put that down on your table and push down to make that set faster. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put glue on the rest of the tabs and close that piece up. Let me pull this back a second and get that glue out to the edge. And then just go ahead and close that up. And as you're closing it up, you may need to kind of wiggle and shimmy some of the sides in place. Okay, and then once you have it partially set, you can put it down on your table and grab a dowel and just push down to really get that to hold. Okay, all right, so we've got 
We've got the base construction of our vase all done here. And at this point, we can go ahead and begin putting on our panels. And that is a pretty straightforward process. Now, one thing that I want you to do is take a look at, take a look at your vase and determine which side is your best side, okay? I think that the side where everything is joined ultimately, that last connection, is probably gonna be not the best side. It still should look good, but your best side's probably gonna be your second or third piece that you put together. Um, and the only reason I'm asking you to do that is because I want you to pick out what I'm gonna consider the front because of all these panels here, there is one with a cutout and that is gonna be your front piece and you want that to be on what I would consider the most aesthetically pleasing side. Okay, so what we do wanna do is um, we're gonna glue this on. We wanna give this a little bit of a curve at the bottom, not much, just a tad like that. Um, and you probably don't even need to do that. I think it's such a subtle curve that you don't need to train it. Now, one thing that you do wanna pay attention to is that there's a little score mark here at the top. Okay, and that's gonna tell you and help you align it with the top because that is gonna overlap and then you're gonna have a little bit of a border down at the bottom. Okay, so you can go ahead and apply your glue onto your panel. And again, I would kind of eyeball, eyeball the top, make sure that you got that score mark aligned at the top and then just push that into place. Make sure that you run your fingers along the entire structure here to make sure that that glue stays nicely. Okay, so that looks nice. And you're gonna repeat that process with the rest of these panels all the way around. And then down here, we have these panels here, I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of these panels. That was a little too much there. And you're going to center these onto your vase. Just make sure that you've got a nice even border going all the way around. And just wipe off any excess glue that you may have gotten on there. Okay, so just put your panels on, on all the sides. You have one of these for each side, and then you have one of these for each side, and just continue that process until you have all your panels on. Okay, so here is our vase with the panels on it. And the next thing we're gonna do is take these pieces here, and the idea um, behind these pieces is to just kind of have them curl like this. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a large dowel and train this, and I'm actually going to take and wrap this around my dowel, not too tightly, just a little bit, just like that, and then release it, just so it's like that, okay? And you'll notice that there are some score lines on here, okay, and that's to help you figure out where to put the glue and where not to put the glue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that to the interior and we want to align these little score marks with this um, round piece here. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. Okay, so we're gonna do that five times. Okay, so let me just show you one of them here. And that little, that little single score mark there um, that is to help you align it with the actual structure piece. So you can just kind of put glue on just like that and pop that in there. And if you hold it up to the light, you might be, you should be able to see the score marks. Okay, I'm obviously not showing you very well because I was holding it up to the light, but that is roughly what you want it to look like. And then you can always curl it again after the fact here. Okay, so we can take this and, and actually you can just kind of curl it like this. Okay, and that's kind of that's kind of the look that we're going for. Okay, so again, just make sure that if you are using AC cardstock, 
And if you want your texture to show up that you're training these pieces the correct way. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap this around my dowel just to give it that roundness. Okay, and I'm gonna glue that to the inside and just repeat that process four more times until you have all of them in place. Okay, so here is what our final vase is gonna look like, um, aside from the little leaves that we still need to put on. Um, but what I do wanna just briefly talk about is some of the embellishing that we did. And I have some pearls here. And I'm gonna grab my, grab my pick-me-up tool. I'm just gonna show you here how I go about placing them. I just grab a little scratch piece of paper and lay some glue down. Grab my pick-me-up tool, and what we did, as you probably saw in the photos on the website, as well as the trailer, we have some nice pearls in various locations here, and I'm just taking my pearl, dipping it in a little glue, and then just kind of getting rid of some of the excess on there so that when I do put this down, it doesn't get all over the place. And I've kind of figured out that there is this other piece that you can pull out um, that helps you kind of, if you have your little pearl on there, you can hold it down to remove this because it is sticky and tacky. Um, but I've kind of found that if I twist it off, it doesn't remove or it doesn't pull the actual pearl back off. Okay, so I'm just going to continue here with my little pearls. And I'm going to get the next one in place here. And so the other part of this pick-me-up is designed to help you pull it back up without pulling back the actual pearl. Okay, so I'm just applying my glue, getting it in place. Just like that. And then you can push down with your finger just to make sure that it gets a really good hold. Okay, so we did that. Um, let me just finish this up. Got all these pearls everywhere. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I've got a rhinestone stuck to my sock. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, just get our little pearl in place here. And I'm going to use the little twist off method on that one there. I think that actually works a little bit better for me. Okay, so we've got our little pearls in this little cutaway area, and that looks really nice. And then what we also did was we put some pearls up here, one large one and then two small ones, and basically did it the same exact way, just using my pick-me-up tool. Just took that, and you can actually see So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pull this off here at this angle. Sometimes it's a little difficult to show you here, but I'm just gonna put a nice big pearl right on top like that. Okay, and then follow that up with two small ones just below it. You can go a big one on top and then, or you could go two small ones on top and then uh, a big one at the bottom. You could do a big one in the middle. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you can embellish this however you want. Just kind of showing you how we did it. Okay. And add my last little pearl there. There we go. And of course, repeat that process all the way around. Now, I filled mine up with crinkle fill paper because I'm planning on just keeping this inside. Um, but you probably want to fill this with, um, I don't know, probably maybe some of those glass beads or whatever you can find. And it's probably good if it's not edible because I made the mistake of filling something up with lentils and ended up getting a mouse in my studio. <laughs> he might still live here. I don't know. Um, but let's talk about these, these last little flowers here. I'm sorry, these last little leaves. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to glue these to the interior here, like so. Let me show you here, just like that. You want to kind of make that flush with that, with this curly panel here. There's a, you know, it ends, and that's where you want to line this up, okay? Now, what you want to do <clears throat> is we only have four of these, so we're not going to put one on the front panel here. We're not going to connect one here. We're only going to do these four sections here. Okay, and 
you can kind of train these however you want. Um, probably would take these two and fold them down and then the back two, maybe bring them up so that there's a little bit of dimension back there. Okay, so let me show you here. We're gonna curl this one like that. Okay, and we're gonna glue that inside like this. Okay, and the same with, same with this one. Okay, but then the back ones, you can kind of train them so that they kind of stick up and then maybe flare out this way like that. Okay, and then glue that in the back so that it sticks up so that there's a nice little leaf behind the actual flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick so you can see the end result. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the bottom here. And this one that's standing up, I'm gonna glue to the back and just get that nice and flush with that little panel there. Make sure that it's pointing upward. It's nice and vertical. Okay, it's a little difficult to show on camera, <clears throat> but you get the idea. Okay, and then once that really gets a hold, you can kind of fold it back a little bit more so it's not too in the way. Okay, and then we'll grab this one here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And again, don't put one on, on this piece here. We don't want we don't want anything hanging over that little section there. And just get that glued to the inside. So I'm gonna grab this piece here, just put a little bit of glue just at the base of this. Okay, that might have been a little too much there. It's okay though. And glue that to the inside here. Just make sure that you've got it nice and vertical. And just hold that in place until it gets a good hold. Okay, and there's just one piece left. I'm just gonna glue this in and then train it um, after the fact. Because once you get your flowers in there, you can start kind of finessing and arranging things until you have it looking the way you want it to look and just kind of analyze it and you know, look at it and decide, hey, um, well, I want this flower here, this one a little bit taller, this one a little bit shorter, you know, create some more dimension that way too. And I'm gonna curl this, I gotta put this up on my table real quick, I'll show you the end result here in a second. Okay, all right, so you see how that looks there. They're just kind of random. And these two in front can probably curl these down a little bit more. Again, it's all personal preference. So you can go ahead and, you know, just put your flowers in. And I have some crinkle fill in here, so I kind of have to stab it to get it in there. But you get the idea. Just take a look at the final photos to really see what they look like. And um, you're pretty much all done. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.